then let's have a look at Vinyl Master Pro. Okay, so I've loaded up Vinyl Master Pro here. So I'll just quickly explain what I mean by cut plus letter plus X equals Pro. What that means is that everything I've shown you in cut, or that you know about cut, and everything I've shown you today in letter, plus a whole bunch of additional tools, are all in Vinyl Master Pro. So that's how we determine the program. It's one program plus another plus more tools and features equals Pro, and then later on I'll talk about Designer. So I'm going to go up here and show you what I'm talking about. This is a good example of a situation you might find where you have a lot of work to cut out, um, multiple colours, lots of things to do. So this is what we're talking about, production orientated workflow. So here I'd come up and I'd click on send a cut file. And you see this module pops up and it shows me all the artwork I've sent to the, or that I wish to send to a cut file. And I can uncheck these colours and those will not be sent to the cut file. If I check them back on, you can see they're coming in the preview here and I can click send and that loads it directly into the cut file here. And these white strips here are representing the media or the vinyl in my vinyl cutter. Um, and you can see here a picture to show you what the orientation is and how it's actually working. So I can come in here and I can position things um, as I see fit. Um, and I can even add more text if I wanted to as an example. So I've got lots of control over this particular cut file. The other thing I can do is I can click save as. So you can see I've got black here, white, green, and so on and so forth down all those colours. So I can actually save the cut file and open it later and add more jobs to it um, and append to it and modify it as much as I like. So that's a good thing about Vinyl Master Pro. It gives you more production capability. I can press this nest button here and you can see it automatically nests all these cut files uh, and it saves a whole bunch of media. And my time, you know, physically going through and doing it myself. Show that again in the white like so. Now I said before you can append to or add to your cut files. So if I click here, I've got this uh, sign here I want to send. So again I just come here and I click on send a cut file. One of the options is to uh, start a new cut document. In this particular case I want to just add it to my existing cut document. So I click send and you can see it automatically sends this black, the white section, the little green bit that we had there and that here, etc. So again I can press nest and you can see it, it attempts to save my media. I'll click Nest here and you can see it adds the job in or that part of the white in and it will do the same with this black here. So you can see how it saves time and it means that I can add to this cut file and I can save it off and reopen it and recut it out anytime I like. So that's a great advantage with Vinyl Master Pro. Another example is this job here which you can see is rather large, it's 46 inches odd um, and there's no way I can cut that out on my 24 inch cut, it's just not going to work. So if I send that to the cut file again, so now what I want to do is select this option this time, send to a new cut document because I don't want to append it to my existing cut document, so I click send and you can see it loads it directly into here and it's allowing for the two sections here. Now I can set the tile overlap or I can go into the more advanced section here and click on edit and if I select the item here, I can actually drag down a chopping guide. So I can actually cut it anywhere I like. So I might prefer to cut it just there, for example. And you can see when I zoom in, what it actually does is it creates the two separate sections, as you can see here. And there's an overlap, which I can set to any value I like. At the moment, I've just got it set to zero. Um, and actually, I'll undo that just to show you what I mean. If I set the overlap to, say, I don't know, a quarter of an inch, and I drag a chopping guide, you can see what it's going to do, how it's overlapped. This, the two sections here by a quarter of an inch. And when I cut this out and weed it, you'll see these little triangles here. These are alignment marks. So all I have to do is put the first layer on like this and then um, put my application tape on my second layer, go on the job itself and just line up these two triangles. As you can see, as so I go to the other side here and it will line up perfectly for me. So these are the sorts of things that will save your time. Click apply and you can see now I've got this section and this section like so. And what I can do is I can then uh, position this where I want it to go. I mean, in this particular case, what I might do is put that up like that and then bring in the, this section just below it here. So I'm saving as much media as I can. So I can now send that to the cutter. Or alternatively, I can do this and place it like so. And when I send it to uh, cut all, and you can see that it's showing me it's going to cut this section, which is part one of tile one. And this is part two of tile one and I can send that off to the cutter and cut that out. 
So that's just one example of how Vinyl Master Pro can assist you to deal with oversized artwork. Another example, if I come here, I shall have to open that job up. We'll just close out of that now, and we'll close out of that. Let's open this job here. So here's an example of a typical type sign you might want to cut out. So I'll send this to the cut file as well. Click send. And I'm just going to show you speed weed. So if I drag over the marquee over that and click on that advanced section and select that text there and hit speed weed, you can see it adds this line in here which allows um, more rapid weeding. It just saves a lot of time. But I might not like the position of that line. So if I just double click, I can remove it and I can put it, say, there. I might want a vertical one and I can put it there like that. And I click apply. And as you can see, it applies these speed weeds without actually going into the text itself. And I could say position this bit of orange here. And again, I could um, put a speed weed around that as well. And I might prefer not to have it there, but maybe a vertical one like so. So that's how Speedweed works. Obviously there's a lot more tools and features here. I'm not going to go and show you all of them now, but the point is, is that Vinyl Master Pro is designed to save your time and to allow you to produce a lot more signage than you would in, say, letter or cut. Okay, so let's close out some of these jobs here. And I'm going to show you some other things. Okay, so I've reopened this job that we had in Vinyl Master Letter, and I'll just zoom in and show you some of these things. So Vinyl Master Pro has a lot more text tools and features than, say, Letter has. You've got things like Superscript and Subscript, Small Caps, All Caps. And if I go to the text menu here, you can see those in here. And there's also things like Underline and Strike Through and Double Underline, etc, etc. One thing that um, Vinyl Master Pro does have, which is really important, is text boxes. Now, text boxes are a boundary that's created in a rectangular shape like this, which I can resize. And you can see the text automatically wraps to the boundary of this shape, like so. So text boxes are a great way of working with large volumes of text and positioning them around your graphic. And as you can see, you can have different colours in here, etc. And you can set things like justification. So at the moment, it's all aligned to the left. We can align to the centre, align it to the right. We can, say, flush justify it. So you can see it comes right to the very edge like that, and it resets it so that it's always going in a sort of white block fashion, as you can see. So that's the great thing with text boxes. Now, this, these are in Vinyl Master Pro and above. They're not in letter, so it's important that you realise that. So other things we can do is I can do some carriage returns here like this, and I can add in some bullet points, like so. And I can adjust the position, as you can see, like that, around the bullet. I can adjust the board itself. And, for example, if I wanted to make that a different bullet point, I could simply go into here, might make this as telephone for example, and now when I go to add those bullet points, you can see it now adds those particular, that symbol there like that. So other things I might want to do is change the colour of these bullets. So I can go in here and click on blue, and I can make this one red for example. I can change this font here, I'm simply choosing another font like so, and making it larger, making it smaller. I can make it bold, and so on and so forth. Uh, over in the Design Centre, if I go down to the Text Tools, you can see there's a section here dedicated to text boxes, or also known as Paragraph Text. I can set things like the columns, the percentage and the gaps between columns, uh, and line spacing, and all these sorts of things. I mean, an example of that would be, if I zoom into this here, and if I go up to Node Edit Mode here, and we click on the text box, you'll see these lines appear as we go down like so. And you can actually adjust the line spacing between the text itself and this gives us a great deal of control over our artwork so that we can lay things out. A good example of that would be on page 3 here where we've got this text box with tabs. Now this is, again is just a text box and if I click on that there you can see it's just a regular text box and if I go to note edit mode we see our uh, tabs up here and I can adjust these as you can see and bring them in to make the effect that I'm looking for or the layout I'm looking for like so, a little bit of adjustment. And that's a great thing with these um, text boxes because you can create things like these menu boards and they're very easy to make. Um, another example is text wrapping. So if I go into here, uh, you can see what's happening here is that the text is actually wrapping around this object like so. Uh, and of course, there's many other things that Vinyl Master Pro does over and above letter with text and fonts, etc. I won't go into everything now. One thing I do want to quickly show you is the font manager. Uh, in here, you can see it's showing your Windows installed fonts. 
Now, if you've gone ahead and installed uh, the extras and the extra 10,000 odd fonts you get with um, uh, Vinyl Master Pro, uh, you'll see this list be populated here. And these will show you all the fonts that have been copied over to your hard drive. The great thing with uh, Font Manager is if I select on a font, say I want this particular font and I click on Use Now, that font will become available in the current document I'm working on or I can add it to the library and what that means is it actually adds it to the fonts folder in control panel of Windows so then that font's available for all my documents. So you can either use fonts on the fly or you can use them permanently and Font Manager lets you do that very easily and it also allows you to see all your fonts. Uh, that you've got um, copied to your hard drive and you can use those very easily from there. So that's Font Manager. Okay, so we've now covered a large number of text tools and features in Vinyl Master Pro. And I'm going to show you a few more things now. I'll show you gradient fills. I'll open up this document here. Now you can see here, I'm just going to wireframe, you can see these are just objects. Now these are filled with gradient fills. Now by that, what I'm talking about, if I select this object here and I click on the fill mode, you can see these fill tools up here. Now I'll click on edit and the gradient editor comes up. Now this lets me adjust, you can see the preview here, this lets me adjust the gradient. So I can have a linear gradient, radial, square, conical, etc. I can click on these nodes here and I can change their colors and change the, uh, the look of the gradient quite extensively. If I go to the gradient library here, you can see there's around, well there's about 800 of these gradients in here. And I can apply any of these uh, and I'll make it conical again, actually I'll make it square just to make the point uh, accept. And you can see here what's happened is we've created this uh, gradient fill here. Now you can combine gradients together uh, and you can create some pretty amazing artwork. An example of some of those things is say for example this artwork here. If I go to wireframe again you can see this is just a whole bunch of objects. And if I click on this here and this here, these two different sections, you can see these are just gradients. I mean, if I go to the fill mode here, um, these are just gradients, as you can see. And by using clipping paths and things, I'll just undo what I had there, Control Z. You can see I can create this artwork, which is you know quite amazing, really. This is all vectors with gradient fills. Now, similar to those, um, you've also got textures. I'll just close out of this now. Um, just gives a bit more room here, and I'll open up the textures here. And as you can see here, we've got these texture fills. And again, it's the same sort of thing. If I go into a wireframe, you can see these are just objects. And these have been filled with textures. I come here to textures. And as you can see, I get a preview of all these uh, textures I've got in the program. There's over 1100 in Vinyl Master Pro. And if I select one, you see it in the preview like this. I click accept. That just puts it into the object I've got selected. Now I'll just zoom in and show you what you can do. If I go to fill mode, I can actually adjust how that texture is positioned and how it repeats. So textures are another great uh, feature of Vinyl Master Pro and as mentioned you get over 1100 in the program. Okay so there's another thing I'd like to show you in Vinyl Master Pro which is 3D modeling. I'll just turn this page off. So let's say for example I type in the word USA and I'll make that a bit larger and I'll do it in say Arial Black. A bit bigger. So I want to make this into like a 3D object. So what I can do is click on this and go down to 3D modeling and you can see it immediately puts that into a 3D perspective. And I can adjust its position and its viewpoint etc and spin that around. Now I can do this to any object that I select in the program. I get these tools up here and I can like extend it and I can like wrap it around and do those sorts of things and adjust colors. Maybe make that a, like a gold color and make the back say more of a red colour and you can kind of see the effects you can create and there's a whole range of additional tools here for lighting and doing all sorts of things so you can change the kind of the effects you get by doing that. So 3D modelling is a great way of doing some more advanced type artwork. So if we come up here, just open up a job here just to show you the sorts of things you can create. So I'll just go to page two here where we're just looking at the 3D effects themselves. So if I click on any of these you can see that the effect remains persistent so I can design my job, save it off and come back to it any time later and continue to edit it as you can see here. And I can bring back the extrusion and change the bend etc. So the effects are very powerful and they remain persistent and these are the sorts of things you can create in Vinyl Master Pro using the 3D modelling.
So one other thing I'll show you now is the extras you get with Vinyl Master Pro and as you can see here that list is quite a lot longer now so all the ones with two in these clip art here are added to that list of available clip art in the software. So with Vinyl Master Pro you get all that additional clip art. Um, you also get over 10,000 fonts. There are also extra corporate logos. In fact there's 30,000 more. Uh, so there's a total of 40,000 corporate logos like that there. There's also uh, more road and related signs, um, like some of these here, as you can see, there's those there. And I already mentioned there's over 1100 textures with Vinyl Master Pro. So I've covered the main tools and features of Vinyl Master Pro, which are an addition of Vinyl Master Letter. So don't forget, everything I've shown you in Vinyl Master Letter is included in Pro already plus all those additional things I've shown you, like the cut documents and the gradient fills and textures, etc., etc. So if you, if you really need a more professional type program for dealing with you know, more advanced artwork and designs and actually managing cut files and producing a great deal more signage, then Vinyl Master Pro is definitely...